In this activity, we're going to be working with the starter code in the Lyman Hall Theater zip file. So you want to make sure you've downloaded that and unzipped it. We're going to produce a web page. So this is the, how a web page starts. It looks pretty complete. But what we're adding is an entire calendar, and that calendar is going to go right down here, just above the footer. And we're going to create this calendar using JavaScript. And when we get done, it's going to be a complete calendar and it'll display the current month at the top, the days in the right places for that particular month and year, and it will highlight the current day. So that's our goal and where we're headed. To get started, we want to do a couple of things. So in our starter file, we have an HTML file and then we have some style sheets and a couple scripts and a few, a couple images. So first we want to add, currently uh, there are two style sheets that are added. We want to add one more. So we'll use an, add another link tag to add that. And the href is it's in styles, in the styles folder, and it's the lht underscore calendar dot CSS. And its relationship is style sheet, so that's what we want it to be. And then we end it there. And then we want to add a script tag so that we include our JS file, right? So, and this one has a source equal to, and the, this file is actually in the scripts folder and it's lhtcalendar.js. So that's the one that we want to add there. And we do want to defer it so that it doesn't execute until after the page is loaded. So then we'll close that script. Oops, how come didn't that work? Oh, because I didn't have my greater than sign there. Okay, there we go. All right. So we've added the calendar CSS, the JavaScript, and if we go back to our page and refresh it, we're not visibly seeing anything here. So there's going to be code uh, that we're going to be adding and we build on it. Now in the HTML file, we want to add a div and this is uh, all the way down after the article. Notice that there's a header that has the navigation. Then there's an article and then the footer. So right there after the article and before the footer is where we're going to add this div. And this is in, in this div that we're going to build the calendar. So in here, add a div and give it an ID equal to calendar so we can access it directly. ID equals and calendar. Okay, and that gets us set up and started with where we want to begin.